Yep. Heart shot. Well, right heart. Okay. Center mass. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the IB65 heavy duty tripod ball head from Sunway Photo. If you're not familiar with Sunway Photo, they make a lot of outdoors gear, a lot of camera gear. They kind of bridge the two worlds and a lot of times when you're doing outdoor stuff, you want really good quality camera gear as well. It is one of the very few companies where I can say every single piece of gear I've had from their company was designed really well, it was thought out very well. They didn't release something too early or release something that needed to be redesigned. I have found each one of their products to be very appropriate, built right, smart, and actually affordable, reasonably affordable, super high quality fit and finish. And so I just wanna start off by telling you that, that the company itself does very well and the things they're putting out are not cheap. I don't think they're just rushing to get products out the door and into customers' hands. They really seem to put a lot of time and effort into getting things right before releasing it. But they're very uh, high in uh, ingenuity. I think a lot of the products that I've seen, I've noticed things about them that nobody else is doing. And I like what I see from them. They're willing to try some things and be innovative. And that's important to me because I want to see, especially the outdoors shooting community, grow. I want to see products be challenged. And I think Sunway Photo is doing that on their own level. So first of all, kudos to Sunway Photo for putting out affordable products that really do challenge the market to progress and move forward and create products that users, people like myself, can appreciate and get the most out of for our money. And this product itself is no different. The IB65, I've been using it now for over a couple months, and uh, I'm sorry to Sunway, I, I meant to get this out sooner. I really was trying to get out sooner, but I kept using it, kept using it in a lot of different ways, including hunting, uh, competition stuff a little bit here and there, some target practice that I was just doing on my own. I really like shooting it off of the T3650 CM tripod. It is their kind of their premier tripod. I would say it's probably their best one, and this is compatible. The IB65 is compatible with that, obviously. It's a 75 millimeter bowl adapter, and so I was really happy to see that, that it could just drop right in there, and it's so rewarding to shoot off of a tripod. It's something I've been working on and kind of growing my skill in, whether that be from a sitting position or kind of a kneeling position. And then most recently, I've been working on standing shots uh, at extended long range with this 308 that you're seeing right here. I've been shooting at a little past um, 800 yards, sometimes at 1,000 yards, and just trying to work on my skill set there. And so I've been using the IB65 head as I've been doing all this, and you're going to see a lot of that in the B-roll. I'm just going to let B-roll play in the background here for a little bit. You can see how I used it and recorded myself using it various times. I'll talk you through some of the specs for starters. All right, so the model is the IB65. The ball head diameter is 2.55 inches. The base diameter is 2.8 inches. Again, it's a 70 millimeter. Its uh, height is 3.7 inches, so it's it's kind of a lower profile design. I like that. The weight is one pound. Load capacity, check this out. The load capacity is 66 pounds. Typically, if you want to get into something that can hold 66 pounds, you're going to have like these fixed stands or very, very expensive ball heads. And so this is impressive, guys. If you weren't aware of that, holding 66 pounds for a sub $200 tripod head. Like I'm on the Sunway, Sunway website right now, and it is advertised at $199. This is very impressive. So good job there, especially. It is compatible with uh, a number of other um, types of tripods. Again, um, tripods using a 75 millimeter bowl adapter. Um, you'll have to look into that and do a little bit of the research, but for Sunway Photo products, I'm running mine in a 3650 CM, and so it's a perfect match for that, as well as the 3640 CM. I think it's compatible for, for both of those uh, because they have 70 millimeter bowls instead of a 75, but you can make it work with some other ones if you do a little bit of research. It's really not that hard at all. There's a lot of gear out there now, uh, such as adapters, Again, it is a, a low-profile design ball, and so that helps the platform in general. And if you think about this, if you have really long or heavy or both uh, types of equipment you're loading into here, it helps it to not tip over. And you, compi you combine that with the fact that the uh, tilting angle of this ball, when you release the tension with that lever and then you kind of angle things, the tilting angle is 47.5, and that helps things to not want to roll over and you know, overcome the angle of the legs as the weight is dispersed, especially with really long, heavy things. Like I'm, I'm shooting in these videos a usually a 20-pound 
sometimes a 25 pound rifle when you were looking at that ruger precision in the beginning that's you know right around 25 pounds the way it was loaded up and i can actually position that rifle in any way i want to even in the video right now that i think it's probably 18 pounds right where you're looking at right there maybe 16 pounds i can't remember what it is without the other stuff other uh, gear on it but that's still pretty heavy and i'm not in the widest presentation of the tripod i'm in the uh, kind of the tallest and skinniest or most narrow presentation of the tripod with the, with respect to the angles of the legs and it's still holding up perfectly well not worried about it tipping over even on slightly on level ground it's just really easy to grab that knob open it up with one single motion and then I can lock it down like that and I'm level again and I have a level on my rifle on my optic there that's really cool one thing that's important is I'm using the SDC 50 head that it comes with it is my favorite tripod mounting plate or head on any of them. I, I just can't think of anything I prefer more than this because this has both Arca, and you're seeing what an Arca plate looks like right there, as well as NATO or Picatinny, and it's adjustable. You can adjust the tension on the other side, and so when I go from Arca plate to Arca plate or NATO to NATO, they're not always exactly the same, and you can change the tension just slightly back and forth. It's very, very useful. You can see it on the right side there. It's that little dial on the top of the uh, tripod head there, the SDC50 is what that's called. Very cool, very very high quality and uh, speaking of arca plates sunway photo does sell arca plates i use sunway photo gear um, you know almost exclusively that's what i'm using in all these things all the tripods you're seeing the arca plates you're seeing they're sunway photo very high quality i'm super happy with them and they're affordable they're not going to be like a hundred dollars for an 11 inch or a 10 inch arca plate it's like 50 bucks or something something around there, around $50, $60 for an arc plate. It's a really good price, and it comes with everything that I expect to have on there, plus some decent hardware, some really decent hardware. And so I've had great experiences with the Sunway Photo um, Arca, um, Arca plates, or the uh, Arca rails, rather. So if you want to check those out as well, I think they're a good investment. Uh, going on down the list, the ball diameter is 65 millimeters. Again, it has a load capacity of 66 pounds. The height is 3 inches. The base diameter is 2.8. And so um, that makes for a relatively strong, stout package on whatever you're putting on. And it's just built for rifles, basically, guys. It's built for long, heavy pieces of equipment or really big cameras. And the nice thing is that ball head that I'm shooting off of right there, it can be you know really quickly tightened by the, the lever lock. And so that saves you time when you're shooting. If you're trying to mess around with all the other dials on a typical tripod head in the middle of a match or in a hunting situation, which I just recently found out, you know, if you're trying to mess around with all the other dials on there, yeah, you can kind of set them up to be reasonably comfortable. But with this one single lever, I was able to just grab it, move it around. I have the level on my reticle and just so fast I can acquire a target. I found that out during hunting as deer were running through the woods. I could loosen that up, I could unlock it, and I could get all angles and tilt at the same time while maintaining weight balance on my tripod. So it's not like I'm holding the weight to the rifle. And it made me really happy to realize I think that Another is stack. probably the way to go, especially in hunting. I like the single lever lock and release. It's just the fastest and probably the most reliable way for me to accurately hunt but then also in competition I think this would be a really good way to go I like it and it worked out really well for me in shooting all right get everything recording hey guys so I have my savage model 10 in 308 I have an arco weight on there I have a big atlas bipod that's the super cal I have a D resonator on the end. I have a Yankee Hill machinery, machinery uh, break. I have a Black Hound 3 to 24 first focal plane mill mill. Uh, this is from their Emerge series. This is premium Japanese glass. I'm going to be shooting some Federal 175 grain SMKs here at a, well, it's 1,027 yards, and I'm shooting with an SDC 50 head from Sunway Photo, and on top of that, or on, uh, that's on top of rather the uh, Sunway Photo IB65. So this is a ridiculously strong ball head that is meant for heavy packages. This rifle, the way it's configured right now, is 19 pounds, something like that. It's actually not my heaviest rifle, but it's around 19 pounds. And I'm shooting off a Sunway Photo 3650. Uh, that's the tripod, carbon fiber tripod here. I have videos on most of the things I reviewed uh, or just discussed right now. 
and uh, you can go ahead and check those out. Maybe, I, I don't think I have one on the Mischief Machine bubble level, but it's a decent bubble level. Check them out. I'm going to go ahead and throw some rounds down here. It's not too windy out. I would say it's between 5 and 10 miles an hour. For 308 at 1,027 yards, it's enough to play around with a little bit here. And for me, my skill is not super high on shooting standing positions. It's actually something I've been working up to. I've been doing a lot of sitting and then a lot of uh, a little bit higher, kind of like kneeling positions, field positions, and now I'm working up to standing. I don't have a lot of experience with that, but this Blackhound optic is so clear, it's so good, and it's not too windy out, so I decided tonight's the night. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if there's something I can learn about a standing position and shooting off a tripod. I'm sure I'm not showing you the perfect form and function, the way to do it exactly. I'm just trying to learn myself right now. Mostly, I'm looking through this. I wanna see what kind of clarity this has, which I already know it's, it's fantastic. And I want to see what the uh, capability is of the IB65 and the STC50 to hold this in place because this does move around. Even with the brake on the end, it moves around a little bit. So I'll grab some ammo, grab some ears, take a few shots here, and we'll see if I can get some impacts. There it is. Nice. Okay, so you could see some competition and uh, plinking application in those other videos that I had there, but now let's talk about hunting briefly. I recently was deer hunting, and as deer were running through the woods about 70 yards ahead of me there down that trail, I have a, a nice cut through the woods there where I can aim at deer, and they do run through there pretty frequently. It was nice to have a very simple ball head that I could trust. If it's unlatched, it's nice and flexible, and it has like huge mobility. I mean, 47.5 degrees of anglature. I can shoot uphill, downhill, left and right. It's just easy to cant and build in whatever angle I need to but as soon as I lock it down it is rock solid and I'm, I'm trusting it to hold you know that heavy 16 18 25 pound rifle I have in all those applications and so I think this is the ball head that makes the most sense for hunters because you don't want to mess around with a whole bunch of different kinds of tripod heads and you know the dials that are on the other ones some of the finite dials and tension knobs those kind of things they're nice for especially camera work and maybe some of those places where you have a little more time but if you're in a hunting scenario like i was in the woods you don't have a lot of time and so this is really a quick lever it's a good design i like the qd on top that it can do picatinny as well as arca and then moving on down the fact that i can self level this really really quickly without grabbing onto three different dials or knobs it's just a single knob and yet it still has the strength to tension that piece together and it's not gonna fold on me, it's not gonna roll over. Even with the legs of the tripod not being at their widest angle, I can really leave a heavy rifle in multiple different angles and trust that it's gonna hold the weight and suspend that rifle properly. It's a great design. The fact that it's under 250 bucks and, and technically right now it's under $200 on their website, I think it's a fantastic deal, guys. Competition shooting, hobbyist shooting, and especially hunting, I think this is your go-to piece. It's not limited to shooting. You could do a lot with it, but this is how I've used it so far.